Kyle is missing, and without your help, he might never come back. Maybe I felt a place. What well, place? Where? I don't know. Come on. But where are we going? You gotta find that place. And what the hell is that smell? Coming up with the story for the first episode of season three was a bit of a challenge because our audience grew so steadily last year and it's been nine months, so they've had to wait a long time. Now, I don't remember telling you lavender was my favorite color. I'm in no mood for lesbian weirdness tonight, Pam. You want to hit the ground running and to get all these stories going and to give people a taste of everything that we love about True Blood, which is the fright, the romance, the sex, Ooh, yeah. the comedy. Is Bill here? No, it's just me hanging out. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Totally. The thing about Jessica, she's only been a vampire for about a week. There's been nobody to sit her down and go, okay, here's what you do. Here's how you don't kill people accidentally when you're feeding from them. Do this work. She is formally homeschooled, very socially, uh, isolated young girl. Now she's a vampire. What do you do? I accidentally killed somebody. Who can I tell? It's pretty bad. Who the hell are you? It was time to bring something new into the mix and to explore sort of the friction between vampires and werewolves. If you have any kind of orders to keep me alive, you are about to fail. As is the case with humans, a lot of, you know, uh, subgroups or minorities within the supernatural world can target all of their aggression onto another group. We actually shot with real wolves and that was kind of exciting and interesting and a little scary. Even though these wolves have been born and raised in captivity, they're wild animals. We don't put the actors and the wolves in the same shot. We have to do that in post. You don't want to get a wolf to the state where it snarls because then it will become dangerous. So then we use um, hybrids, which are half wolf, half husky, without worrying, okay, now the animal's gonna go crazy. We use the CGI to amplify the snarls, to make them bare their teeth more, to make their nose furrow and look aggressive, because that's, that's harder to get, get the animals to do. I should warn you, I feared. <laughs> 